Hello there, girls, boys, uh, and as always, others. Um, I was filming some stuff for the teachers about uh, Edmodo and Kindles and stuff like that and thought I'd actually best touch base with you guys. Um, we have now been in school uh, for two days. Well, actually, the teachers have been in for four days, but two of those had other students. And so um, in just that time, we've learned a lot about what the new normal is going to be and what the new school looks like um, and how it feels as well. Um, I was worried about going back, but actually um, everything that the school is doing is actually above and beyond what the government recommends. And therefore it felt really good and really, really safe actually. Uh, and one of the things that the school is doing is recommending you bring your own COVID kit to school. So what I thought I'd do is share what my COVID kit looks like um, so it can maybe help you guys get yours ready for the return to school. Okay, so we know from COVID that and the coronavirus and everything and going into the shops and stuff um, that washing hands regularly is a must, if at all possible at an actual sink, um, but ideally after you've been in contact with any transmission point. So a transmission point is where somebody else might have touched or coughed on, so uh, like door handles, um, keyboards, things like that, desks, chairs, these are all transmission points. So it's very important that we are able to wash our hands as often as possible. So for that, um, the school does suggest alcohol gel. Now you can get the alcohol gel in huge bottles. What I did is got one, um, I can't even remember from one of the big supermarkets, like a bottle this big, and then I decanted it into one of these little bottles. So this is really small, fits actually into my pencil case. So um, these are what we call travel size bottles. And you can get these again from most supermarkets. There's usually like a bag of four for about a pound. It's small and they're very, very easy to carry. So I decanted some alcohol gel into this. So if I just need to wash my hands, squirt, forward, backwards, forward, backwards, job done. Um, equally, you can get sort of more fancy lardy da ones. So one of the teachers actually put together for the staff um, mini COVID kits in which they put these things. So this is a bottle just like the other one, but it happens to have a little chain on the top. So you can attach that to whatever you like, really. So um, I tend to go for my belt buckle or my lanyard that I have on. <laughs> Learn the hard way, though. Uh, make sure you put the lid back on it. Uh, so I'd left the lid open like that, whoopsie daisy, and there we go, it's leaking already, um, and it leaked all over my trousers. So I had weird stains on my trouser leg, uh, that was not a great look, so uh, really cool, much harder to lose, um, and just remember to make sure the lid's on it. So in my COVID kit I have got alcohol gel, 70% uh, alcohol is what the school recommends. Also in my kit, I have got uh, another one of these just little travel size bottles and all that is in here is a surface cleanser. Okay, so this one happens to be Dettol, um, but any antiviral surface cleanser will absolutely do it. So when you go into a classroom, what we're asking people to do is to wipe down their desks when they get there. So each classroom has got a big spray bottle at the front of the classroom. However, that would need passing around the room. So my suggestion to the year sevens is just get one of these, okay? Tiny little bottle um, and you just spray it on the surface and then that's it, job done. Wipes. Now the school does recommend that you bring wipes. So um, with the year sevens, we did try like little wipes like these. Now. These things, if you're wiping down your desk when you get to lesson and wiping down the desk when you leave, we found that people were going through them really, really quickly. Um, and a lot of these are non-biodegradable. So, you know, you know, I'm a science teacher. It's all about reduce, reju reuse, recycle. We've got to save the planet. So this, I'm, I am still taking these, but these uh, in this case are face wipes. So when you get the mask on all day, you do end up getting a little bit sweaty and a little bit gross. Um, so at lunchtime, I just had a good old, wipe and clean up and refresh, ready for an afternoon's lesson. Um, it was just nice to get my skin to breathe again. So the wipes were originally supposed to be for wiping down the desks. Um, however, that type of wipe I don't think is particularly sustainable. Um, so what I've done instead is this. Um, this is just a little pot that I got. I think I got it free with a lunchbox. I think the, the Systema 
lunch boxes sometimes come with these little pots um, but equally you can just get them at any of the the supermarkets now this one happens to be a, a twist lid and inside i have a cloth okay just a microfiber cloth um you could easily get a pack of these again from any sort of big supermarket shop like again a pound for a pack of like 20 or something like that so all that i would do psh, psh, spray 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 wipe 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 job done now obviously once you've wiped things down, that's going to be wet. Um, so instead of putting it in my bag and getting all books and things wet, I put it straight back in my little tub. Job done. Okay. Um, so that was my COVID kit. I've got my alcohol gel. I got my surface cleanser. I've got my uh, cloth using for just wiping up the surface cleanser and I have got face wipes just literally for my face not for my desk I nearly forgot about masks um, I'm recommending using a face covering you don't necessarily have to have a mask now there's varying different bits of research out there about which is more effective which types of masks are effective and which types of visors or other face coverings are effective to find out more please do check that out for yourself and find which version you would be most comfortable with you could go for something like this Ta -da! or if you're into superheroes you can make yourself a spider-man one or perhaps you might prefer something like this What type of face covering you wear is your personal choice. Do your research and see what you are most comfortable with. Whatever you choose to wear, please make sure you wear it properly. This is not properly. This is not properly. This is not properly. This is not properly. For more advice and guidance on what you should be wearing, what you, you should be bringing to school, please do check out your own school's personal recommendations. Each school on their websites have got their own policies and recommendations of what you should be doing. Make sure you read it carefully and get in touch with staff at your school if you do have any questions. The other thing that the school is asking you to bring this year are uh, Kindle devices. So uh, this is a Kindle 5. Ooh, look, reflection. <laughs> um, this is, sorry, this is a Kindle Fire 7. Now, there is loads of advice and guidelines on this in the on the school's website. Please just check them out. When we get back to school, there are going to be uh, more sort of training sessions on these and how the school is using them. So for now, I'm not going to go into that. Um, they can be really useful for a whole range of different things. Uh, and we're going to play with that over the year and have all sorts of different things going on. Okay. Uh, so that is it for today. That is, uh, how long have I been on talking? I've been on talking for seven minutes. Uh, that's much longer than I meant to be. Sorry about that. COVID kit, make sure you bring it to school. Uh, yeah. And see you soon guys. Bye.